Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is about one of my models that I've done this year. Um, today I'm talking about Cisco, which is TM257, I believe. Already messed up, yes. Okay. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom. I'm an Open University student. Today I am talking about my module TM257, which is all about Cisco. Um, it's the first of two different Cisco's. Um, this is the one that you do in year two. There's also a second one that you do in year three. This one is called TM257 uh, Cisco Networking. Uh, it's all about networking. So I'm guessing if you've chosen this module, you know that anyway. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna go over roughly how the module is laid out, what type of assessments you have, any sort of tips that I may have. Um, yeah, that sort of stuff. So straight off the bat, Cisco is very different in terms of other modules because the vast majority of the work is not done with Open University. It's actually done with Cisco's own website, Nittercad. Um, as soon as you sign onto the module and register, they sign you up and you get started on Nittercad. Um, there is two parts, two different, technically two different courses. You, well, there's four courses all together, but you do the first two in this year two module, and then you do the second two in the year three module that goes into a lot more in depth. Um, this first two just is it's fine for beginners. It's what sets you off. Um, yeah. Anyway, so it splits two. You do the first one in the first half of the year. Do the second one in the second half of the year. Pretty straightforward. Um, for this, for Open University, there's actually only two TMAs and one EMA, um, which is quite low, but that is because through Netacad, um, each course, so the one that you do the first half of the year, the one that you do the second half of the year, each course has 10 different chapters. Um, each chapter has its own end of chapter, like mini exam thing. And then they also have the end of course exam that you do through Netacad. Um, um, that's for each individual course, so like the first half and the second half of the year, they each have an end of course exam as such. It's not to be worried about, don't go, you know, don't start freaking out about it, it's fine. Um, it's all multiple choice. Um, the end of year, the end of course exams are timed, but you get plenty of time. Like, I think you get like a good solid hour to do it, um, so don't worry about that. There is a practice exam, so you're not going in completely blind. Um, it's the same sort of thing for the end of chapters exams. So don't worry about the end of module exams, you'll be fine. But you have to do these chapter exams because the score that you get from the chapter exams are added up and put through as one of the questions for the TMAs. Um, and that has a direct impact on how many marks you get for that question. Can't exactly hear, remember how it works out, but you basically add up all your scores, times it by some sort of number, and then that gives you your mark equivalent. Um, so do try your best for the end of chapter exams, and of course try your best for the end of course exam as well, because that is also linked, I believe, to a, another question. So yeah. Now that's I've gone. I think I've gone that. <laughs> I think I went into that very quickly, but um, yeah. So the Cisco website, the Netacad, it has 10 different chapters. These chapters are quite in depth and there's quite a workload I found anyway. Um, there is several different types of learning methods. There's activities to do. There's obviously just pages of information. You go in, it's kind of like a PowerPoint presentation where it's on there, you read through it, you click next, go to the next page. Um, different activities such as like drag and drop options, like you might say what a word is, and then you have several different definitions, and you have to link it up with the definition. Um, it's very well, it's, it's very well done, uh, but it's all online based, so you will be sat at your computer a lot. Um, you can access it through your phone, although I would advise you to sit on your computer really, just sit down and get comfy, I guess, and obviously make notes. Um, as you're going through the chapter because they are quite chunky chapters especially if you've not done any networking before um, it's going to be quite a lot 
to take in. But as well as the online um, chapters, it also pa pairs well with the Cisco software called Packet Tracer. Um, Packet Tracer is completely free. Um, you download it through the Cisco website and it allows you to build networks through your computer. Um, and you see the topology side of it and you see the actual how it would actually link together. Don't worry if you're not really getting that and um, what topology is you will 100% it's just you put in different parts like your routers and you pick which cables you want you connect the cables to the computer you can log into the computer and um, do you you effectively your coding stuff through the computer to set up the routers set up the computer set up the IP addresses switches it's all on the software and it's very very good but with your TMAs and throughout all the chapters in Cisco you will be asked to complete activities Obviously, the ones through the Cisco are optional. Um, that being said, I would I would advise you to do them anyway because it obviously covers the sections that you've just done and it kind of tells you which step by step what to do. So it's very useful, and also because the TMA usually has some sort of activity to do as well, so you're better off just getting used to packet trace as soon as possible and how it works and how everything links together um, for your TMAs. Because, like I say, it's pretty, you know, it's a big part of your TMA, basically. That goes for both TMAs. Um, you will have one due in December time, and then one due in March time. And you will have your EMA that is due end of May. Um, also, part of this module is a day school. Now, I've done an entire video on the day school. Um, I will link it either up, up there somewhere or I'll just link it in the description. I might do both. Um, but basically, the day school is essential. It is mandatory. Um, you have to go. You have a choice of different of different venues up and down the country. Pick which one you want to go. You go there. It's just one day. Start at nine, finish at like half four or five-ish. Um, like I say, it's essential because you get hands-on experience with building networks. Um, you get to meet other students as well, which is helpful. And also it is like a good 60%, I think, of your EMA. Um, like I say, if you want to know more in detail, feel free to check out the video. But basically it's split into different parts, um, the day school, and what you do throughout the day school um, directly affects how many marks you get in your EMA. So you basically get a set of tasks complete, and that's one part of your EMA. And then you also do the end of course exam through Netacad at E-Day School. Um, that also forms a, another set of marks for your EMA. On top of that, for your EMA, you also get one written piece, which I believe was like a 400 word written explanation between RIP V1 and RIP V2. And the other part was another, um, another And the other part was another packet tracer assessment. So um, that was part of the EMA. The EMA was actually pretty straightforward. Um, like I say, as long as you get used to your packet tracer, you're pretty much golden because for the written part, you can go through the Cisco website and learn from that again if you're not quite quiet in your head. And um, what's what? So yeah. Um, my main tip would be to make, make sure you give yourself a lot of time. I feel like for a lot of modules, you don't really need the full time that they say you need. They usually say like eight to 10 hours per week for a module. Most modules I find I don't really spend eight to 10 hours a week, but for this module, I, I probably did most of the time. Um, I'm not someone who was, had any networking experience beforehand, apart from the very, the very little bit that you do in year one for one of the modules. Um, apart from that, I had no networking experience. So, I had to learn everything from scratch. If you're in a similar boat, I would say give yourself plenty of time for this module. If you've got other modules, um, plan ahead for those other modules as well to give this module more attention. I would say at least at least at the beginning while you're getting used to it, um, you might find that everything just sticks in your mind super easy and you're flying through it. That's fair enough. Um, for me, I had to take my time with it, make more notes. Um, but yeah, it's well worth it. You get a good understanding of obviously networking 
and how everything works together. But yeah, I think that's basically it. Honestly, it's a pretty straightforward. It's a pretty straightforward module. Just bear in mind, you will spend a lot of time at your computer because it's all online. Um, there's no books. There's no end of exam where you have to go to an exam center. You just got your day school, which can be intimidating, but don't worry about it. It's not nearly as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, like I said, I've done a full video on it. I'll link that wherever. Um, but yeah, that is it is essential. It says it's mandatory. It is mandatory. And you want to go and you want to try your best when you're there because it directly affects your AMA. And effectively, if you get your four marks at your day school, the full 60 that you can get for your AMA, you've already passed your AMA with those 60 marks. So just go in there, do your best. You work in teams, it's okay. <laughs> it's not as bad as it sounds. Um, but yeah, that's it. Two TMAs, one EMA, one day school. Um, a lot of chapters to do on Cisco. It can take a lot of time. Some chapters are huge <laughs> and some are very small. So um, yeah, like I say, just plan ahead. Give yourself plenty of time for this module and you should be absolutely fine. And uh, with that said, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in the next video in a bit.